parents, I just wanted to share some things that will be happening begin at the beginning of January. As we are going to be entering the new year, we will be beginning a special project for history. Uh, the students will be compiling a notebook full of pictures, research facts, maps, and different things that will all be focused on our state, Florida. The work for this project will be assigned during class work times. Weekly grades will be given on assigned pages that must be complete, so working at home may be necessary along the way. At the end of each week, I will post the pages we did in class and any reminders or things to share regarding this project. Actual photographs of um, Pictures also must be in color and actual photographs and family pictures may be used. Postcards are also super cool and super fun. Travel brochures from welcome centers or hotel lobbies are useful and usually they're free. Um, I do realize that color pictures use more ink, but this is a project which requires color. So part of their grade is to have the photos in color. I know there will be some pictures that may not be able to be in color because of how old they are, but outside of those exceptions, all the photos must be in color. Uh, please understand that the photos need to be wallet size to fit the spaces available for them. Larger photos are acceptable, but your student will end up spending a lot of their work time cutting if they are too large for the space. Okay, so for example, we need a picture here of our state tree. This is the size of how small the photo needs to be. So it's basically a wallet size photo. So it needs, um, it, it will help your student if you um, make it that size, or if you do get larger size photos, you may cut them at home and then they will be ready to go when they get here in class and um, they wouldn't have to waste time that they could spend working on the rest of the pages, okay? The pictures need to be at school no later than Monday, January 9th. I will have a place for each student to store pictures to keep them safe and avoid mixing with other classmates. Um, I, will, um, also, I, I will also tell you about the basic requirement list of the components that I'll be grading on and I thank you so much for your help uh, for the for your help with the pictures and your patience as we work on this project. Um, right? Um, it is helpful to make sure that your student knows what each picture is when they bring them in. So labeling, even um, by writing on the backs, would be helpful. It is not uncommon for the student to forget what the photo is or who is in the photo. So just a simple oh. Um, like for example, this is the New Hampshire state tree. So, you know, in the back, just write quickly, New Hampshire state tree, which you wouldn't need that, but you can write, you know, Florida state tree and different facts like that so that they can remember. Or whenever you take family photos, say this is the family and this is the place. So um, help your students out that way. Um, Students will be looking up information and writing about some of these pictures, so it is really, really, really important to remember. Here's the exhaustive list of everything, the, um, the amount of photos and what photos they need. We need Florida wildlife. It needs to include vertebrae and invertebrae, that is eight to 10 photos. Florida's native flowers, trees, and plants. We need um, four of each. We need um, scenic pictures of Florida, 10 to 12. Florida State Capitol building, one or two photos is fine. Um, other historic sites in Tallahassee, that needs to be two photos in other historic sites in Tallahassee. We need the state symbols for the bird. So our state symbol, what bird is our state symbol. We need the um, state tree and our state seal. Uh, we need two early Florida settlements that are um, so uh, two pictures of early Florida settlements. So one will be St. Augustine and the other one will be Pensacola because both of those are one of the oldest settlements in our state. Um, two historically influential Floridians and we need one of each. So we need total of two photos for that. Um, we need 
So the Floridians can be either people who are born in Florida or who have lived in Florida. Some of the peoples that you can use and you can ask me questions if you need to, but you can use um, Thomas Edison. We can use um, Henry Flagger, Dr. John Gorey, Ernest Hemingway, and different names. If you just Google it, you will find plenty of stuff. Um, we have historic landmarks. We need three photos of that. A hint would be the old Hickory Road, uh, old brick road, sorry, old brick road sign in East Milton on Highway 9B that can be used. Um, four different types of sports in Florida. We need one of each. Um, also, I don't remember if I said, but the historic Florida landmarks is three photos of those. We need two different Florida vacation spots. So. That's up to you if you want to use Disney World, if you want to use Universal, if you want to use the Keys or whatever you choose, but it needs to be two different spots and one picture of each of those. All right, these are pictures that need to be of the student, okay? One photo of them in front of a blank background, so like what I'm standing behind right now, or um, their school photo, that works too, and in front of a state landmark, so one photo of that. So you can go to the um, old brick road and take a photo there, and there you go, you got it, okay? You need a picture of Florida's current senator, congressman, and governor. You need one photo of each one of them. You need one photo of uh, Santa Rosa County Courthouse, two photos of Santa Rosa County popular locations. You need also three citizens of my city okay so one of each one photo of one of each citizen all right these do not have to be famous and it can be either someone you know or someone you would like to meet and one picture of you and your family in floor in front of a florida landmark all right i will tell you now the project requirements all writing must be done in cursive using only one color of ink throughout the entire project. So they may either use blue or black ink all throughout. Okay, white out is not allowed. And let me explain to you real quickly why. If you look at this color, okay, the background is white. This is not white. So all the pages, they're not white. If they use white out, it would not look pretty. And part of their grading is the attractiveness of the notebook, the overall attractiveness of the notebook. So I would hate for them to lose points because they used white out. Books will only go home on Fridays to verify with you that all currently assigned classwork has been completed for the week. Okay, they will have a little tab divider or a little tab that will um, indicate what page we stopped at. It should not go home otherwise without permission. This is to ensure students have the book to work on in class each day and it is not forgotten at home. Please make sure notebooks are in their backpacks each Monday for returning to school. Even one day without their books could cause them to fall behind. Okay, and on Monday, like I said before, I will check, go through and see how, if they have all their work completed if, on the pages we have done. If they have, then they get a 100, quiz, 100 point quiz grade for that week. And that's great for them. So this is the best quarter for all the students to have A's in history. How awesome would that be, okay? Um, here's what I'll be grading on. I'll be grading on the attractiveness of the notebook, the title page, the table of content, the first section, which is Flor um, history of Florida, with the second section, which is climate and geography of Florida. Third section is industri industries of Florida, uh, section four is state symbols, and the last section is cities in Florida. As sections are assigned and given time to be completed in class, any unfinished items should be finished as weekend homework. Okay, and again, each Monday there will be a book check to verify the completion of assigned pages from the previous week. This will count as a quiz grade and take place of regular history quizzes. Please ensure your student's book is at school each Monday so they don't receive a late penalty grade. If you have any questions about this, if there is any way I can help you with it, please let me know. I'm always here to help.